Hello and welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be forging a railway spike knife. I've not done this before, but um, I do have a, a couple of railway spikes, and I just never got around to doing anything with them. So what I'm going to be doing is um, using very basic, um, very basic tools, and um, yeah, it's going to be um, sort of going back to basics. And for an anvil, I'm going to be using this piece of railway track. So please stay tuned and see how it all turns out. Thank you. Right, I'm using these these arm um, pliers, these sort of extra long, extra long pliers. You can pick these up from off eBay. I set off these for a ten pound for about a tenner, and um, I mean it does the job. Otherwise, you, know, you can just use a pair of these. I mean, yeah, you know, pretty much everyone has a pair of these um, kicking about, but. I don't really like these because they end up uh, marking up the surface of the metal. So what I'll do, I'll be using this um, for this project. Yep. So what I'm going to do, because this is um, quite um, quite short, what I'm going to do is draw out the length a bit on the handle portion and um, then we can start on the blade but I just want to give the handle a bit more length. It's actually quite tricky using a piece of railway track as a um, anvil. It's, um, because the top isn't flat it sort of wants to fall over. Alright, so <clears throat> I came over to the anvil because the sunlight is kind of ruining my shot and it's getting a bit tricky sort of crouching over. But I mean it won't be such a such an issue if I had a if I had a stump to put the put it up on. But yeah, yeah, we'll just carry on over here. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. I'm just sort of taking this intuitively. <clears throat> I have to be very careful not to let this overheat because I can definitely see this being I can definitely see this being an issue uh, getting hot very quickly now come on come on you wet tongs do your job Yeah, I need to sort of <clears throat> try and bring the blade out straighter now. I think um, I'm gonna work. I don't know. Yeah, just have to um, work intuitively, really. I don't actually know what I'm doing. Hey, 
Ah, that's a bit better. Kind of looks like a butter knife now. start working on the tip a little bit and trying to um, get the start of something going on and you know so you don't want to give it too much heat because <clears throat> You don't want to sort of burn the tip off because at this stage it's quite it'll be quite easy to burn just burn the tip away and then um, you'll be left with even less material you, you know what I could probably just leave that in there without putting the fan on that will heat up um, to where I need it. See that? Hardly any heat at all. I don't know if anyone um, knows, but here in the UK, here in England, we're having a heat wave going on at the moment, and um, this is getting extremely hot and hard work. Whew. I was done anyway, I won't, I won't be doing much more than this. Uh, it's getting quite close to being done. What I'm, doing, I'm gonna work here, get it all nice and flat, and then uh, finish off the bevel, I guess. Put the bevel in, and then um, yeah, it'll be done. But at the moment, I'm just sort of cold forging at the moment. Yeah, when I say cold forging, this thing's still, well, I don't know, 500 degrees, you know. But what I call cold forging is when it's not, when it's not glowing, when it's not glowing anymore. So, yeah. Just need to warm it all up now and um, straighten it all out, make sure it's all straight, and um, then we'll go for a heat treat. I think I can get the bevel, I can get the bevel down more. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll get the bevel down closer, make sure it's all straight, and then we'll go into for a heat treat. see what they mean by um, these are really good practice because you know I'm actually struggling doing this it's actually really um, quite difficult yeah, it's definitely a lot more difficult than it looks I think at this point you got to really get attention to detail, make sure it's as straight as you can get it. 
there are any little waves you know you're gonna have to get out at this point now because um you know you won't be able to grind it out it'll be too much grinding you lose a lot of material um yeah Yeah, so a bit wonky and stuff, but you know, I don't think these are meant to be perfect, are they? These railway spikes, um, spike knives. Yeah, but I like um, trying to do a forge to finish um, and trying to do a minimum amount of grinding. But yeah, I'm quite happy to them right now. So, what I do uh, give it a sort of firm shape. Might give it a little bit of a little bit of a drop point. Give it a bit of a drop point and um, just get rid of that where it's fish mouthed a little bit there. And then um you know clean clean up as much as I can sort of thing. And grind out this area here. Sort of uh, make it a nice transition into the blade section. And then yeah, then I'll be on to heat treating. Let it cool down now. See if I leave it like that, it's probably gonna cool down wonky. I'm gonna try and um, yeah, I'll let it cool down like this. Otherwise, I've noticed if I let's lay things down to let them cool down, they do sometimes tend to uh, warp because they're cooling at different rates. This is sucking out more of the heat, so I'll leave it like this, and it should should cool down straight. Unless you want to stick it in the vise, I don't know, whatever. It's up to you. Right, um, I'm going to have a quick little chat, very very quick. Um, if this is your, your first time and stuff, you know, you want to get into things like this. Um, it's very important to, um, to use like safety equipment and stuff. I mean, there's nothing fun about sort of losing your hair in from using power tools. I mean, this isn't incredibly loud, but use it for a while and that, you will have a ringing in your ears and that means you've damaged your hair and things like safety goggles and whatnot. You know, if you see me not using this sort of stuff sometimes, it's because I've done it for a long time and, and, you know, I've kind of gotten overly confident. <laughs> um, but yeah, always use like hair and protection, goggles, gloves, whatever, you know, welding gauntlets, whatever you can get. But yeah, it's a must. It is a must. So if any of you out there like go deaf or lose your eyesight, don't don't blame me because you know I've yeah I've said said my piece.
non magnetic facing the wrong way back where you thought I think as I'm cutting it's getting blunter and blunter. I mean, it's still pretty pretty sharp, I'm not sure how well that's going to hold an edge. All I do is I run it on the buffing wheel a bit and see if I can hone that edge a bit better. But yeah. You know, Okay, so here we have it. Um, quick, quick and easy little project. Um, I say easy, but people make it look a lot, lot easier than um, it actually is. Um, I think my main concern was holding on to it. You know, you need you need some some sort of uh, bolt bolt tongs, something. Um, and yeah, I mean. I don't think I'll be doing a, doing anything like this again. The steel isn't very good. It's not holding an edge. I mean, I could put an edge on it, but I mean, this yeah, this will be good for I don't know keeping around the workshop, you know, that sort of thing. I mean, and I kind of what I should have done is put more of a curve to the handle here to make it look nicer. But um, yeah, I think if I if I would do one of these again, what I'll do. I will forge weld a piece of high carbon steel into it, into down the middle first, and then that will give me a lot more material to work with, and um, you know I'll give it a fancy handle, put some sort of a twist pattern in there or something. But uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's a nice little um, learning experience, and um, yeah, so you know, it's a very quick, quick project, and um, yeah, I, I use sort of minimum amount of tools you know as possible to try and sort of show show you guys out there that it can be done with uh, very basic tools you know um yeah so yeah so if um if you guys um enjoyed the video please don't forget to do a thumbs up and subscribe you know if you haven't already and um yeah thank you for watching